And welcome back to another episode of uh, the Cripple Expeditions. I am Drew Polite. And, um, yeah, so, uh, thanks for all of you for uh, getting all these views on these videos. Uh, it helps a lot, and, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I was hoping that this would get a couple of views, and it has. So, thank you, and I will keep uploading these videos. Uh, I, I might upload them even if, uh, even when I'm uploading, uh, the Assassin's Creed 4. So, yeah. And also, I finally made a decision on whether or not to get that, uh, pack. And I will, because, uh, click. Because this engine is, uh, 80, is 850, uh, with a max engine power of, uh, 240, a impulse at sea level 330, and a drive mass of 1.5. Which, in all respects, except for the mass, is much better than that engine. Like, I thought that was cheaper, but it's not. It's the same price. But for the same price, you get more power, you get gimbling. Uh, it's a bit heavier, I think. Actually, wait, no, it's lighter, because um, the more number uh, behind it, that's more point uh, every day. So, yeah, that's better in every way. And that thing is so much better than that. Actually, I want to look at the fuel, uh... Point nine. Point nine is the exact same. Actually, let me check on this one. See if that's point nine. Yes, point nine, so that's weird. So well, yeah, let's get this. And um since I have been since I have been uploading the last session, uh, which was four and five, and the five was two par, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Reentry took far longer than I expected it to be, so, yeah, I'll try to avoid that problem in the future. Alright, so what's in the heavy thing? So, yeah, I've been watching, uh, the Winter Owl series, uh, I've been watching about all the episodes up to, like, three. Uh, four just came out today, and I haven't watched it, but I will, uh, and basically, uh, he's doing a much harder version of this, save from the fact that he's not using Kerbal Economy, uh, Alright, so, oh, that, that fuel tank, I love those fuel tanks. Uh, over the engines I never use, uh. Alright. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I also installed, uh, the Gemini Mercury map, uh, pa uh, part pack, which basically has the Gemini and Mercury rockets, save from, uh, the Mercury capsule, which it just uses the normal capsule in place of it. For now, um, uh, soon they'll be updated so that, um, yeah, Mercury Capsule is actually in game. And also, uh, the real experimental storage container, which allows me to store more, uh, samples, so server samples, and more data. Uh, and a couple of knots are on, um, EVA. So, uh, whether or not I have to get out and put them in, put, and actually put the data into the storage containers while in EVA, we'll find out soon. So, uh, yeah, there's one thing I want to do that I saw uh, Winter Owl doing that is uh, actually uh, go in the airfield and do a crew. Uh, I mean, go go on the landing, uh, go on the runway and do a fuel uh, crew fort. Got changes. Oh yeah, and also figured out how to use the crew paint. It's pressing. It's press B like this. B blue, like so. Uh, none, because that's weird. White didn't do anything. None. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I just want to show you how to do that. Uh, how do I just can't do it. We need that. And since we just need a crew for it, it doesn't matter. Launch. Although you might be in this. Go well. Oh yeah, and there is going to be stuff for me to do with planes, being that uh, when you fly over certain biomes, you get different, uh, you, uh, you get different crew reports. So just flying around the biomes will be good. Uh, I don't believe I got one from the desert, and I still need a sample from the Arctic, but I can always get. Look at these lights. Yeah, these are new with this update, huh, Jebediah? Tell us what is this like on the launch pad. That's how you do it. You do it like this.
So anyway, uh, so when, yeah, when I get airplanes, I'll be flying around and taking crew reports. Crew report. Uh, Pouring in at the runway. Good thing there's a, not a lot of traffic here because I don't think we got clearance from the tower to uh, from the tower to be here. Alright, that's done. And oh yeah, if you get out and take a uh, server sample, you just want to get the grass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and the Kerbal Space Center is different from the, it's different from every other area in Kerbin. Even just outside Kerbal Space Center, where there's trees, we put ground scatter on. So uh, I'll get that eventually when I get playing. Oh yeah, right now, um, oh yeah, also you get, um, different EV reports, uh, from different locations, including in atmosphere, so we'll do that right now. Now, uh, I kind of ran into a situ- I kind of ran- I kind of- I kind of ran into a situation right now, being that I don't think I'm going to quite go to the moon yet. I might be able to, like, I actually got these things. Let's load up record number two. Oh yeah, by the way, you can call these by their acronyms, uh, R1, R1B, R2, R2, R2 Cheap. Uh, I'm not going to actually change them because there is no rename function in Kerbal Space Center yet, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, so yeah. And, uh, and when I make rocket number three, I just, I will just call it the R3. So what we need to look at now is how big these landing legs are. These are huge. These are from Novo Punch. Okay, these are Mercury stuff. These are perfect actually. That's a good size. Wow, we lost a lot of money. I thought we had like building next to 80 or was that just 40 H? It was probably just 40 H. Are the big legs? What? Okay, so they took out the um, original legs. Yeah, because these are not the uh, threes. Alright, so I do have landing legs. Okay, I thought I didn't. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, and uh, just saying, the primary reason for me getting the Mercury uh, and Gemini pack. Is to get the Gemini capsule because I love that thing so much. I love the IVA, and also um, it's a two-man capsule, which means I can do a uh, orbiter, orbiter, o orbital, o orbiter, and uh, lander configuration for the moon, or command capsule and uh, a lander for the moon. So uh, I, I can do that. It's a Gemini capsule. It's also cheaper and weighs less than. The three-man capsule. So since I don't need a three-man team and I like the Gemini capsule, I'll just use that. It's just a little oversized for uh, it. It's like a one and a half or something like that. So it's a little bit bigger than the one, and it's a lot smaller than uh, the three. So I'm just going to use that one-meter rockets. Hopefully that works. Oh, that's slide. I forgot to turn on the timer. By mistake. Oh yeah, uh, I guess we aren't stuck. I just need to uh try to make a uh a lunar lander. Since I don't have the Gemini castle yet, I'm I'm not gonna make a uh no. look at that light. Uh, I'm not gonna make a command capsule and a and a what do you call it in the lander. I'll just make a classic style one you know, lander ship like this except for landing legs. First, I might need to grind. Being that I don't have really much cash to go to the moon and back. Seeing that this is really uh, the most expensive craft I can create. What is the game doing? I'm talking. There we go. That's weird. So now I'm going to focus on doing a. Uh... Alright, I can just. Yeah, I'm just worrying because I'm um, as you saw in the announcement video for this. If you watched, uh, if if you looked at the last video in 
the mo in the bonus hunter season three playlist uh, where I canceled well bonus hunter because I lost the save data, and also uh, they were kind of hard for me to read. I'm not quite at that level of uh, let's playing to actually uh, do that much editing. Uh, I mean I can do it. It's just really really tiring for me. I'd much rather do uh, smaller videos. Oh, I'm yawning. It's not doing it. Oh, there we go. Stop. What's that map look like? Uh, actually, still good. Never mind. Who turned off that thing? Who who turned it off? Go that way, yes. What what am I doing? What am I doing? I I I I got confused. These numbers can be small. There we go. See that. I can't hear my engine. Yeah, that's why. I thought this was going to be a clean launch. But no, I decided to mess it up. Oh, stop. That's good. F5. Can't do it yet. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go. I was going to get the Kerbal to EVA because uh, you can EVA in those. And he said something interesting. All right, so I completely messed that up. Sorry about that, but we'll still get uh, good stuff. Good stuff in this expedition. Alright. F5. BA. Quickly! Tell me what it's like up there. Good stuff, eh? Alright, F. That was close. Extend transmit. All right, Curran's water. We got that on. We got that locked down. F five. Okay, maybe I had more time than I thought. Extend. All right, let's uh. Since everything's calm down. Alright. I guess that's ASAC. Yeah, I stopped doing that uh, thing in the description where I said uh, basically uh, some stuff I not seen yet because everything's seen. I, I showed you everything except for the Mach 1 and Mach 2. Uh, I mean, not, not, not Mach 1, Mach 3 and Mach 2 visuals, uh, internal visuals for the planes. Hold it, hold it. Ah, son of a Let's see if we can make this happen. This is a very decent engine. Um, night side. Oh, we can make this happen. If not, I can just hit F9. Yeah, this rocket's kind of hard to use sometimes. And plus, they missed up completely. I, uh,. Like over warped. Now, uh, some, some of you might be saying that I'm being cheap about hitting F9, but uh, well, I just want to relaunch again. I just want to save time. If you don't understand that, I'm sorry, but uh, and I might not have to in here anyway. But uh, yeah, I just do that. I mean, uh, like in, when I was uh, doing this space rover looking for uh, the monolith and the uh, lunar arch, spoiler, in uh, the Money Thunder Season 3, I know, wait, no, it was uh, the Money Thunder Season 2, uh, I, hit F I hit F9 a lot, simply because that would take, that would take in so much longer if I messed up every 5 seconds going at high speed. Right side up. Ah, oh, we can do this. Do we have gas? Oh, we still have gas, but barely. So you can, so you can still click on those beer tanks. I thought so. Alright, 
mean, maybe it was a good idea to keep those on my rockets. Keep uh, the two fuel tanks. Come on. We're going to control, which is my fuel cutoff. And there we go. That's not an atmosphere. Ah, that's good enough. Okay, that's a terrible orbit. But it will work. When we get over there, we do a crew report. Yeah, let's look at the fuel. And we're off fuel that tank. Ditching that tank? Yep. So, if I, I had cut that tank out, I would have, uh, stranded Jupiter in space, and would, have, and would have had to set up a rescue thing, and I couldn't have really done that since we don't have the money for two capsules, and I don't have the Gemini cap- or, and I don't have the Gemini capsule, or the three-man capsule, so he would have been stuck in space. Forever. But he is a crowbar, does he care? No. All right, so we can fly over mountain, grassland, and desert over there. Now they'll be in quick transition, so let's fly over there. Uh, I'm not going to be doing crew reports, I'll be doing EVA reports. Uh, I'm just having to remind myself that, uh, because I was scared for a second that I would, uh, again, put a little reason I should make an aircraft. But no, what? There's plenty of reasons still. So yeah. Also, you can take symbols from water and stuff like that. So I'll be doing that. So let's quick save because that worked, sort of. And let's walk. Path is full of stuff. All right. M. E V A. Give it out what you think of the situation. Wow. Okay, that's the beach, and that gave us a lot of data. And I just realized I'm gonna have to land. Wait. Oh, right. You can have infinity EVA reports. Right. Uh, on um, one of our hours videos, uh, people in the comments say you can have infinity EVA reports. So I'll do that. So again, I can't get. All right, on the letter. That's if I don't ruin it. Safe. All right, let's almost say that five and stuff like that. All right, I'm pretty sure that's grassland. Hard to tell. Plenty of time is given, so I can get out. Give it a what is it like up there? Tell me. Uh hi Lance. Alright, that's not grasslands. Uh you record your observations about the situation. Store data. Store experiments. F. Alright. Uh Actually, uh, we don't need a passport. Uh, sorry about that, but get back out. What is it like over there? Islands? Oh, still give us a no. No, no, no. This might be all considered highlands. It's possible. Discard. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to get any better. Oh, you know what? When we get over, um, Kerbal Space Center, we can try it. There's no sense in having to... I mean, there's no reason for us to uh, immediately after one orbit land. Alright, so that's done. Uh, we can try it over there, actually. Yeah, let's try it over there. Uh, I really think that's Highlands, but it might, we might as well try. That's good enough. 
Uh, right? Yeah, that's good enough. So it's more Highlands there. I mean, it's more uh, Grasslands there. Uh, it's, it should be good enough. Uh, we just keep trying every five seconds. Uh, actually, will it make more sense? Turn, 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 stop. There you go. I had to pull around. I just had to. I'm sorry. Oh, much better. And I can look to his uh, right. Yes, that worked. That was grass. That was grass. That was grass lands, everyone. All right, store. Yep. All right, F. All right, so now we need to do the desert, and that should be good enough. And then we uh, come back around, and land on, land in one of the oceans uh, beside Kerbin, where the United, uh, the United Tribes of Kerbalis. One of the Kerbalian oceans, which is what uh, people, uh, which is what things uh, from Kerbalis are called. Like he is a Kerbalian citizen. His race is Kerbal, just to let you know. All right, F up again because I think I forgot. But. All right, so I keep wanting to hit uh, one, two, and three, and four on my keyboard, but that's not right. Now this should give us a lot of scientific data, uh, enough to pay for this rocket in spades and possibly pay for a uh, moon mission. Alright, that should be plenty good enough. Give it out, get out there. Oh, you got a very good view, just look up. Yes, keep. Too bad it doesn't give us a description. A good one for me to read, all right. Store. All right, get back in. Well, that was resoundingly successful, and now let's use our returning. Yeah, this is getting up into orbit. This, I mean, that, this is uh, getting to an orbit. This is uh, returning from orbit tank. Ugh. All right. Five again. In case of bugs, all right. So what I want to do is I want to come around, and since we're in low orbit, Oh, actually, they're kind of high. Because last time, I think what happened is, uh, when, when, when we were, uh, when I was, um, uh, coming in, it was just so shallow that the atmosphere got me and I just got stoned. And I just got pulled in so slowly from, like, that side of the planet and then it came in and landed there. So what I need to do is probably start, uh, from right there. Probably. You know, I'll get this down. I mean, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what orbits I'm used to, but I'm used to. But I'm not used to hitting the atmosphere, so really. I think I am used to uh, coming in from the other side of the planet. Or starting it from the other side of the planet. That was really quick. But then again, this is a very small orbit. Alright, and... Dumb curve in rotating. Although I can change this easily. Alright, stop. And of course you're on the wrong side, flip over. Hold it, hold it. Alright, you know what, I'm not gonna... Alright, that should be satisfactory. Let's save, uh, we're... Be quiet. Alright. It's a five. Oh, actually, that could be a very good um, point for us to, uh, if, I mean, if this was successful, uh, that would be a good point for us to land. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what, and the rest of the episode could be uh, me making another craft. Because uh, we're almost done, there's 14 minutes left. Alright, so. We can... Uh. This. Card this stage. Oh. And there we go. Alrighty. I'm thinking about how to uh, put his, uh, which, which direction you I should face. I forgot to put it. But then again, this was an old, older design, and I didn't figure out paint until recently, so, well, I changed with history. 
That changed it three. Now if he's just saying, should I bet be blue or gold? All right, so when I, I th so either he's looking at it in his face and slowly falls to Kerbin, or, he, you know, I'm going to turn him around. It should be more interesting for him. Because I do not know what uh, direction uh, Mercury Capsules came in looking at. Were they looking at Earth or were they looking at space? See, I mean, that's interesting. You can see the desert there. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? Yeah, you better be quiet. Alright, let's look down at the panel. Alright. Uh, you know what, I might as well go over these uh, controls, because this is a very basic control panel. Uh, but that gives you your vertical speed, whether you're, you're rising or falling, that... I just don't know what that is. Uh, that is the uh, altitude thing, just like you see right around, right around there in the main screen. Uh, these are your bows, they're your pitch, roll, and yaw. These are random buttons that you cannot press. It even has a high key button, I just realized that. And this uh, SCS button, bam bam, and RCS bam bam. Oh, that might be a uh, speedometer. That's what that is. That is a uh, thrust. And we're coming off the center. That is your nav ball with high definition. And let's take a look. That totally doesn't know how. Hasn't moved yet. We're, uh, we're speeding up, so we're going for another rise. Now, radar arc two is very helpful in aircraft. Uh, you can find you can find them in the um, aircraft aviators. Basically, it tells you uh, over. Basically, it tells you what you're actually over. Uh, like in the mountain, like in a like on a mountain, even though you might be at 500 feet above sea level or 500 meters above sea level, this will show you being one foot off the mountain if you are one foot off the mountain. Or one meter, I should say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a compass. Also incredibly useful. Because that thing barely counts as a compass. It's just a nav ball. A very useful nav ball. Uh, but that's a very useful compass. And. These don't work. Alright. So that. Let's face back up. Yeah, this is a very good window. Alright. Oh, and we're coming in the atmosphere. I might as well show you what that looks like on the controls. As you can see there. That works. Alright. Let's get back out there. Uh, we're coming into the atmosphere now. Yeah, updated. Yep, that updated. But I was enjoying this, of course he is. Uh, are we still on track? Yeah, it's coming in. Uh, that's true, my design. Uh, I, I, that's an station I made, I made a while ago that, uh, your best, you know, your best, uh, re-entry point is, uh, right around there if you're looking for Kerbal Space Center. Um, I completely forgot what altitude that's for. I think that's for 100 meters. We were lower than that last episode. And we were higher than that this episode. Yeah, and it should come close to Cur Curl Space Center or on it or just behind it. We'll find out in a second. But it's working. Uh, yeah, it's working through my design. No, I simply don't know what happened in the last episode. But, yeah, I, I mean, it could have been my personal error or... Could have been, yeah, it, 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 it was definitely my first thing error. I uh, know where the game glitched or bugged out in any way. Um, it's just I forgot to take in account to, of that to the um, position, stuff like that. My speed, I guess. Well, speed and altitude are the same thing, being that this is overdose mechanics. So that does not matter.
Oh, I guess it does matter. But anyway, we're coming in. Nope, let's fix the sound a little bit. We're coming into the fireworks. Uh, too bad it's night time, we're also doing IVA. But yeah, this uh, over this uh, re entry looking pretty good. Not the 25 minute re entry that we experienced last time, uh, but more like a 5 minute one. So I can still mess around with uh, with uh, my science projects and stuff like that. And get unstuck from the situation that I believe I'm stuck in. Alright, are we encountering. Uh, yep, yep, yes we are. It started at the right time or it's ascending. Hey, hey there's Kerbal's face and they're looking all lit up. I love that. That, may, that would make light, night laying so much easier. Oh, yeah, you're saying I did paint my Aurora Mach 2 all blue. Oh, you're also saying, since we're on that subject, uh, that SES, well, I, put, I mean, that ASS that I thought it was, and I put on my Aurora Mach 2, turns out that they just, you know, they just um, put it back down to SES. So it's just like that, uh, the other one, the cheaper one, except it's more expensive and looks cooler. So, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, they did fully integrate you know, ASS into the cockpit. So if you keep using that part, uh, you won't, you don't really need it. It just adds weight, but you can put it on your, you know, other boosters and on your pearl bodies to add extra torque. Uh, if you're not playing with global economy, do it because it looks cooler. Unless you personally like the other one, which, you're, which I can see that you might. No, that's IVA. That's IVA. Oh, that's, that's, that's really... The planet is up and the sky is down. That's all I can say. Very disoriented. I just couldn't think of the word for a second. Right. And you know what? That worked. Perfectly! Yet, I finally did a good re-entry on camera. That wasn't part of make that, that I didn't use Vectrip at all. Well, you know what? Print scan. There we go. Wait, it took a second. Wow. Yeah, that was perfect. And there you go, folks. That's how you re-entry. Without me using makeshift or anything at all. And of course, if you want to get closer, you just do the same steps, except uh, put your final in file, your, you know, your uh, prairie apps line closer in. Yeah, but this is, you know, I can boldly fly an Aurora Mach 2 out of here and land next to it. I had no idea why, how that would help, but it will be good. I mean, uh, I, could do, I could do it, and it will... Do it completely easily. I wouldn't have to try at all. Where are the uh, the uh, where is? Oh, <laughs> we're coming in so slow. Pop. Yeah, there it is. We landed inside the we landed inside uh, Kerbal Space Center in the islands. So yeah, that worked out perfectly. So the you know what? Instead of Kerbal Space Center and sitting in, instead of Kerbal Space Center sitting out of the seaplane, uh, or an airplane that can land on the water. It, you know, it doesn't have necessarily be a sea plane, it could be a hybrid. Uh, that air stuff could be, in, could send one out too. And that's probably its entire job, is to send out, uh, you know, sea planes to, uh, you know, rescue the Kerbals once they uh, land in the ocean. Yeah. That's how we do. Look at those map hints in the distance, being all spiky. Well, four minutes left. Uh, you know what? <sighs> Let's do it. It could ex it could explode, but why not? There we go. We gotta hurry this up a little bit. Oh yeah, and um, 
son of... How oh, did I know that would do that? Jebediah, you can do it, man. You can do it. Deal. Son of a mother. Come on. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Physical time acceleration. Why did you have to do that? That was so perfect. Now I'm going to have to, now I'm going to, have to hit F9. Work to launch, I guess. <sighs> um, all right, guys uh, and gals, and anything else. Um, once we load up to save, see that's why I save in case of bugs. Uh, it's just the physical time acceleration thing. It just likes to be a jerk and kill you. All right, where are we at? All right, doesn't matter. We were at just before we took to this thing. There we go. All right. Now you guys saw what I. Now you guys saw that uh, reentry. I don't need to uh, record it. Uh, I could fast forward this, but there's only two minutes left in the video, so uh, I I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to. Do the entire thing, and just before we touch the water, I'm going to turn back on France. Because I don't know if you can. Oh, France, I can't. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn off again. Alright, that being said, I'll be right back when we're about to land. Alright, and we're back, and let's hit spacebar. I got to 100, I got to 105 all by itself, it just yeah, slowly slowed down the atmosphere. Uh, along with that, there's another reason uh, why this is probably the best uh, re-entry I've ever done with anything. It's also uh, the fact that that re-entry heat that you saw, that was basically it. All that fire, all that spark you saw, that, l that little thing, that was like, actually all of it. Uh, but it's mainly based on how the capsule re-entered and how it's actually following the path. If it wasn't following path, if it came in uh, like that was coming into the like that was coming into the direction of travel, if they showed a big flat side, it would have more fire coming off of it. Uh, but yeah, that basically all the range of fire that was. Oh yeah, this kind of makes my this re-entry my best one I've ever done, and one of the best re-entries I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, uh, like, uh, one of the best rain trees I've seen that's above this is, uh, Winter Owl's rain tree of, uh, his shuttle with, re with, um, Ferrum Aerospace and, uh, uh, Deadly Rain Tree on. And he let it, and he, uh, re he re-entered a shuttle without using Chase and he didn't get any, uh, rain tree fire at all. So, um, yeah. That's the best one I've seen. This is second best, easily. I mean, maybe that the reason why that's the best one is because he is a shuttle, and this is just a capsule. Yeah, that was two minutes. Wow. And I am not. I don't know. I don't care how many times to say it, game. I am not turning back. I'm not turning that thing on. No. Two may be good enough. Well, I'm not going through that again. I was watching CNN when I was, uh, when I was re entering, so. Yeah, I didn't just just watch it all over again. I was actually watching TV. Well, and Curl Space Center is still in our view. Uh, although the curvature of Curvin will make it out of our view. It might actually. Although the VAB might be still taller. Yeah, that thing is humongous. Uh, um, and we actually ran out of time. So I'm, I'm going to just look at the tech tree a little bit and maybe make a maybe make a purchase. But other than that, I'll just end it. So I'll have more stuff to do. Oh, we're going to be able to still see the VAB. 
So you know what? I might actually want to make a, uh, I might actually want to make a, um, sea flight. Ta-da! We have returned! Good work, Shepardiah. You are as epic as always. Oh, come on. All right. Uh... Can you sit up? No. Now, since it's behaving like this, since it's not wanting to move at all, all right, fine, Castle, you get up, stay like that. We're not going to get us a bowl of water when we go visit the beach one day. Oh, you can still see the cruel space there. That's also cool. Uh, I will say to insert pick scan. Pick, oh, all right. Yeah, print scan. There we go. Yes. Go into my screenshot folder. So, yeah, well, well done, team. Uh, that was a perfect re-entry. We got a lot of scientific data, and let's uh, check it out. This is actually a pretty good episode, aside from our launch, which was horrible. But we came in and we entered perfectly. So, uh, yeah, that, that was great. Look at all the stuff we got. Crew report from Corvus Water, EVA report from Space Just Above Corvus Shores, Shores, EVA report uh, from Space Just Above Corvus Highlands, EVA report from Space Just Above Corvus Grasslands. I just looked down at the signs. EVA report from Space Just Above Corvus Desert. Recovery vessel return from Corvus Orbit. Oh, that's one five. We can definitely uh, uh we can definitely uh, you know uh, grind that out. I won't need to actually. Wow, uh, thirty-five science, thirty-five point, uh, no, thirty-five point seven science earned on this mission. Wow, that mission paid for itself completely. I actually didn't know this mission would go that well. I mean, this is how I envision in my head getting all these. Uh, the only ones we haven't gotten are the EVA from Arctic, and that's it. So we should have EV from everything now. Done. Look at. Wow. Get the one. Saints. Uh, these are 45. Oh, come on. Get the one with that pack at all? Uh, I might want you. Where are you again? Ooh, this is the tiny version. Ooh, I need that actually. Uh, uh, this is a kind of expensive though. Ugh. We can pay for it actually, but it doesn't. But it probably won't pay for it. So this came in uh, the Gemini Mercury pack for some reason. And the Gemini Mercury pack came with a lot of parts. I'll point them out to you when I get a chance to. Yeah, they're not just the uh, Gemini Mer and Mercury applications. Yeah, There's some um, random parts that make no sense to me that I just put in there for okayness. You see, that's eight hundred. But that would cause my rocket to tip over. So. Uh, I just did math in my head. And actually two of them would be cheaper than this thing. Although it has meaningless mass. Alright. That's a science junior. That came to the game. Right. Alright. Uh, we can make a new rocket and put that on it. It's cheaper than that thing. Uh, and that's a calm dish. You know what? Uh, I am going to uh, end this episode right now. And when we come back, uh, I will uh, make a decision on what pack to get. Because I can't decide right now. Uh, and also, we'll probably be able to new rocket with the pack I picked. So, um, thanks for watching. I almost locked my timer off the table. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, likely, if you like this video, just like this, like this video. Hope you're searching through videos. And please follow me after Twitter. You can find those links on my channel page. I'll look in the very top next to my channel logo. And in the bottom right of my channel title card thing. Blah, blah, blah. I still don't know anything for that. I feel silly. And uh, the reason why you want to follow me after is to see what games I'm playing. Like right now, you can see I'm playing uh, KSP, and you know what? Uh, 
you know, if I'm actually playing it for recording sake, so you can you know figure out when your next episode is, when your when your next episode of the series is coming out, or I'm playing it to a uh, full round and make uh and probably use that technique of me fooling around to uh, make another series testing on mother something like that. And you can also see me on non PC games uh, as in console games, like uh, when I'm like when I'm going to start playing Assassin's Creed 3, and also the reason why you can follow me on Twitter is because the YouTube subscription box isn't exactly most accurate at times, it's lazy, and also, when I figure out my password, or I might make a new Twitter thing, because I completely forgot my password, and I tried all of them, and then some, in order to get my, in order for it to work, and, uh, it failed, so, uh, I might just start a new one with, uh, Greenville Walks, because this is no longer production, so, uh, production will be strictly from a cinema, and maybe for live action filmmaking. So, uh, yeah, there's an announcement. So, I guess, see you all in a second.